to me making a dietary switch after being on a vegan diet for around six years where I've gone back to eating meat and fish and other animal foods around 50 days ago, so many people have now also made the switch from a vegan diet that they've been on a long term and actually gone back to eating animal foods after not eating them for years and years and years. Even some people that are not eating them for around 16 years. Yes, you heard me right, up to 16 years. And this is so amazing that this is actually happening. And the reason why it's happening is not because I've told them to do it. I've not forced it down their throats and said, because it's working for me, you need to be doing it. A lot of people have just watched my video content and they have heard my own personal story with how making this dietary switch resolved all of my health issues and symptoms and resolved a lot of things I didn't realize were issues when I was on a vegan diet that just vanished once I started consistently eating high quality, pasture-raised, non-factory farmed sources of beef, and other meats and things such as salmon and ghee and beef tallow and so on. So it is absolutely amazing that I actually have this YouTube platform and that I have an influential effect on people because by people being influenced by me and listening to my own story, they have been able to relate to me because they have also not been thriving on a vegan diet I mean, having certain digestive issues, mental health issues, cognitive issues, physical health issues, and so on. And they have been trying, just like I did, so many different things to make the vegan diet work for them, such as supplementation, some sort of thing such as fasting, detoxification, eating as much whole foods as they possibly can, eating sufficient calories, and trying so many things left, right, and center. But guess what? It just hasn't been making them thrive and feel the most optimal within their mind and body holistically. Because a vegan diet is not a diet that is sustainable long term. Well, it is sustainable long term if you just want to not feel your best and just survive rather than thrive. But Guess what? Most of the people that watch my content do not want to be surviving. They want to be thriving. And I know a lot of vegans will freak out about this and they will say, this is really, really bad. You're promoting animal-based foods. It's destroying the environment and people's health. It's not good for it whatsoever. And it's not an ethical way to eat whatsoever. And you know what? I have to say to those people, Psh. like... So much of what you say around this type of thing is based on pseudoscience and on dogma and ideologies. And a lot of it is just misinformation that you preach left, right and center because so many of you people that get into a vegan diet and the vegan movement become very religious and idealistic and dogmatic. Because guess what? I'm not promoting factory farmed animal foods whatsoever. And I think that's where a lot of people tend to run into issues when they are eating animal-based foods from these sources. But guess what? I only promote pasture-raised and naturally fed animal foods that are antibiotic-free and hormone-free. But a lot of vegans will say, well, it doesn't make any difference. It's still not good for you. It is proven that animal foods cause things such a heart disease. Well, guess what? There's a few doctors that made a book that I put a link down below for that actually have proven that it doesn't cause heart disease. That is a load of misinformation that is promoted by vegans that are just pushing their vegan agenda. And also, guess what? When you get it from these sources, it actually benefits the environment. You can do your research up online to find out more information about that. And also, it, yes, can still and will still harm animals, but at least they get to live the best life possible before their life is ended for then their flesh to be provided on our plates. Unlike when you get, for example, factory farm chickens, they're normally kept in cages and loads of them are put in there and they have no space to move around or whatsoever. But guess what? Pasture raised chickens normally have around 108 square foot of pasture raised land to free roam on as much as they like. They also do have an indoor environment, but they're never kept in there. They can go in and out as much as they want 24 hours 
of the day. So it's one of the most ethically sourced animal foods that you can buy when it comes from this type of source. And guess what? With every single person that has contacted me and told me that they have made the switch with their vegan diet and no longer eating that way whatsoever, all of their health issues and symptoms have started to vanish. Some of them went very, very quickly. Some of them have taken days to go, even weeks to go. But it is absolutely amazing to hear people's own personal experience with making the switch. Because it's just amazing to see that these people kept their mind open. And because the vegan diet wasn't working for them, they've started making the changes with their diet, with eating loads of different animal foods of very, very high quality ones and it started to make themselves feel the best that they have ever felt in their life and it helps them go more in the direction of getting the physique that they desire and improving their cognitive functions and just making them just feel the best so they can have the best human experience possible and for me all i care about is making people free of sickness and disease so it's amazing that so many people have made the switch and even quite a lot of my vegan family members have started to eat things such as meat and fish. And there's a few of them that are still vegan and they're not feeling the best and it's only a matter of time before they make the switch as well. And when they do, I will be over the moon because I don't want them to suffer in any way, shape or form. And I think the more people that actually start being transparent about no longer being vegan and sharing it on social media platforms as much as possible, more vegans are going to actually start making the switch. So if you're someone that has made this dietary switch, start up an Instagram account or Snapchat or Twitter or even YouTube and start sharing your own personal experience with people. Because yes, the more people that do this are firm this again, the more people are gonna make the switch because not everyone is gonna be able to relate to me. They may be able to relate to you better or someone else that you know that's made the switch. So the more of us that do this, the better. And we can start to actually expose the vegan agenda for what it is and that is a malnourishing, deteriorating diet that is not sustainable and that is not good for anyone in any way, shape or form long. Term. And what I want to say is before I end this video, I want to do a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Paleo Robbie, which is a company in Thailand. It's a delivery company that sells the most highest quality pasture raised meats and other animal foods, antibiotic free, hormone free and naturally fed and also wild caught fish and other high quality animal foods delivered to your door anywhere in Thailand. So if you're interested in them, there'll be a link down below and if you spend over 2,000 baht on your first order, you will get 500 baht off if you use the coupon code that is linked down below in the video description. So that's it for me and this specific video and everything I've been talking about in it. Leave your opinions and comments down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on an everyday basis. So as always, enjoy the rest of your day, make the most of it, and catch you on the flip side. Peace.